Well, hello, my friend, and welcome back. We are here at video three. I hope you've really enjoyed the first two videos. If you haven't gotten a chance to see them, then either check your email or make sure that you are looking in the personal development without the fluff group for these uh, other videos. We already covered how to break the self-sabotage pattern and the glass ceiling, reaching it, never quite cracking through it. Two, we spoke about sacrificing. And we, by the way, we gave you a great exercise in here as well, how to break out of that and then sacrificing yourself, how to distinguish where you're sacrificing and why you're sacrificing. Today, we're gonna to talk about an amazing, amazing topic. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you one of the best exercises to shift into the energy of abundance in your life right now, even before you show up on this live event. Today we're gonna to talk about expanding and upgrading the definition of abundance. So I wanna start off by drilling in this, this concept that as you do this work, you get to be in an inquiry, an exploration of sorts, and that exploration leads you to uncover new ways to create greater results than you ever imagined, okay? So listen to what I'm gonna say and just let this settle in here for a second, okay? The things that have gotten you the level of results that you currently have in your life, in your finances, in your relationships, in your health, are not the things that are going to get you the massive breakthrough results that you're actually looking for in your life right now. How do I know that? you have certain strategies. Those strategies are like default autopilot modes on a computer or any sort of device. You go to them because you are programmed from a very young age that when you do X, Y, and Z, you're able to produce results. Now your methodology is, I'm just gonna do more of that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work harder, I'm gonna work more hours, I'm gonna find a better job, I'm, whatever it is, but it's the same thing. And here's the bottom line, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. If I asked a hammer to make me a salad, that's gonna be a very shitty salad. You get that? So when we're talking about shifting into this abundance, it's going to take something from you. It's not in the realm of doing the things that you do. You can't do more to tap into this state. You get that? It's a complete shift into using new methodologies, tapping into new things. So with that being said, I also wanna share with you guys that most of you, if not all of you right now, are already living a relatively abundant lifestyle. I get that you desire more. I get that you want to have bigger, expand that, and that's what we're going to be talking about here. And can we just stop for a moment and get that you're watching this video right now on a phone connected to a Wi-Fi or 4G connection that you can afford. You're either watching it on a laptop or the comfort of your own home or maybe while commuting or doing whatever you are, right? Most people, that's like the one or 2% of the world right now that have access to that kind of technology and you're one of them, right? Now, why is it so difficult for us to acknowledge that we already live an abundant lifestyle? There's something that happens in the human brain and it's called contrast bias. You may wanna write this down, contrast bias. Simply put, the brain by design is programmed to do what? help you survive. That is it. It doesn't care if you're wealthy. It doesn't care if you're rich. It doesn't care if you're um, in love. It doesn't care that you're experiencing joy. As long as you're alive, brain is like, whoop, we're doing our job, right? And it's doing a great job. You're still here. With all that being said, there's one issue. If the brain's only job is to help you survive, then it's missing out on something. So contrast bias, what it does is it actually looks for any threat, any possibility of hurt. But where it spins itself into this whole other arena is now with social media and media in general, we are bombarded with all of these images of individuals who are being told to us are successful. They drive this car, they have this house, they have this business, they have this family, etc. And our brain automatically, there's nothing wrong with it, but automatically is constantly comparing and contrasting you to every one of these people. Now, when you do that, what are you left with? I don't have their life. I don't have their business. I don't have their relationship. I don't have their car. I don't, 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 which leads you to feel what? Shitty. 
right? Puts you in a state of scarcity, puts you in a state of lack, makes you feel worthless, makes you feel, you know, ashamed, all of that stuff. So the key to shift into this state of abundance, I call it like the gateway emotion, if you will, is this gratitude. Gratitude is the natural pathway to tap into abundance. And I'm going to give you an exercise here real quick on how you can create almost like fill up a gratitude jar every moment of every day as you're going through your day so that at the end of the week, you are just going to feel abundant, like you can afford things, like things are easy to buy, all that stuff. So bear with me for one more second before we dive into that because I want to share one other thing with you. Tapping into abundance through gratitude. A lot of people visualize at night, right? They'll go at night and they say, I want this, I desire that, I want this, which by the way is great. Here's the inherent underlying issue with that. You don't stop or start, I should say, with what you're grateful for. We, ju we jump right into, I don't have this, so I want that. So inherent in everything that you do is this underlying tone of, I don't have enough. I want something else. I want something different. I want something better. So if you were giving a gift to someone, okay, and that gift that you gave them, they opened it, they looked at it, and they kind of look back and you go like, oh, that's it? That's all there is? There's no more than this? How likely are you to go back to that same individual and give them another gift? Not that likely, right? So God or the universe or energy, whatever you want to call it, is constantly bestowing gifts upon you. But most of the time we go like, eh, it's okay. I still want more. And that energy creates this void or blank space where God just doesn't want to come and go like, oh, here's more, Samantha, or here's more, Jonathan. It's like this ungrateful little turd, you know? So one of the things I'll offer you is like, if you're doing any of these visualization exercises, always start by giving massive gratitude for what it is that you have in your life currently. Then, from that energy, from that state of gratitude that leads you into abundance, now start to create what it is that you desire, okay? So now I wanna give you an awesome exercise. It's very, very simple. You're gonna take cash. I recommend somewhere between 100 to 500. If you feel like taking more, put more. You put it directly into your pocket. You walk out of your house and on your journey, typically the human mind through contrast bias goes, I can't afford that. I can't afford this trip. I can't afford that car. I can't afford that house. I can't do this. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could, which creates more of what? Wishing you could and more of I can't afford. We want to start flipping that script. We want to start tapping into that, right? So you put that uh, $100, $500, whatever it is in your pocket. And your job is simply to walk around all day and point out as many things as you can afford with the money that's in your pocket. You don't have to buy them. You just point out as many things as you can afford. I can afford that meal. I can afford that movie ticket. I can afford that parking lot. I can afford taking my child to this playground. Whatever it is, you just start to get into this habit of all of these things that you can afford. Now, what do you think is going to happen as you do all of this? What is happening inside the system? The system that was filled with scarcity and lack and what you can't all of a sudden gets filled with gratitude. I can afford this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. And all of a sudden you have tapped into something completely different. Now it's not just that. What tends to happen is as you create that energistic bubble of I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, guess what shows up? More money, more opportunities, more relationships, more abundance, that you can continue to experience this energy of I can, this energy of gratitude, because that's really what you're after. Sound good? I really, really hope you enjoyed this series as much as I have enjoyed making them for you. If there's any questions that you have in addition to this, or you wanna explore something deeper, please go to Personal Development Without the Fluff Group. Let me know. We will make separate videos for that. This is all an uh, idea 
to get you guys tapped into this energy of abundance. We'll see you soon. Have an amazing day. Make it an incredible week. We'll see you soon.